working with making artistic recipes kitchen style. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to have venison over rice and pasta with a red wine sauce. It's going to be fabulous, so stay tuned. Go ahead and get your ingredients ready from the description box below. And, and let's, let's start, start cooking. cooking. Okay guys, we've uh, pulled out venison from the fridge. We're going to go ahead and uh, season it. We have some basil. We're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of basil. We have some garlic powder. And that's about, uh, roughly about a little over a quarter teaspoon. Uh, you can kind of do it to taste. We have some onion powder. And that's also about a quarter teaspoon. And then we're gonna go ahead and add uh, some salt and pepper to taste. I like to do just a little light, light on the salt and pepper, not too much. Kind of do that to taste as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, grease our skillet with just a light coat of uh, fresh olive oil. You don't want to add too much because uh, you want to see this really, really good. We're going to go ahead and stir our venison up and let all of these flavors marinate together. And guys, make sure you watch your olive oil. You don't want it to burn. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let it get started on the, the sauce. Okay, so we're going to add a, about a tablespoon of butter to our pan. Once you've done that, you can add your onions. Yeah, I love those onions. They give us a really good flavor. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat up just a hair. Like I say, make sure you watch that olive oil. You don't want it to burn. Okay, once we've added our onions to our butter, we'll go ahead and add our red wine because we're gonna have to allow this time to reduce. Guys, I'm telling you, that sauce is the bomb. It is, it is so good. Okay, once you add your red wine, you can go ahead and put your bay, bay leaves in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your fresh thyme. You can go ahead and add your seasonings in. We're going to do salt and pepper, and we're going to let that wine cook until it reduces down. Guys, we're going to go ahead and add our venison in. Like I said, real quick, sear it from each side. Guys, that's, that's what the kind of look you want for the venison to have. I mean, real quick. You don't want it to fry, you just want it to really sear. A real nice color to it. And once we finish it on this side, we're gonna go ahead and take some foil. And we're gonna place them on the foil and send them to us. How's that sauce coming over the base? It's coming great. <laughs> it smells, it 
smells delicious. Mm -hmm. We're going to let it cook a little more, let it reduce down a little more, and then we're going to add our broth. Okay, guys, we'll go ahead and take these out now. Go ahead and turn our fire off. And they're just about ready for the oven. Guys, make sure you wrap the, this completely. Seal it real, real good. And that's going to lock in all that great flavor. I'm just taking this roll my edges. And you're going to set that oven to like 400. And you're going to run this probably about anywhere from, uh, I would say, four to five minutes, maybe six. It depends on your oven. Everybody's oven is different. It smells delicious. Man, I'm hungry already. It does smell good. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and place our venison in the oven. Like I say, we're gonna run that on about 400, uh, anywhere from about, like I said earlier, from, uh, from four to six minutes. Okay guys, just keep an eye on your venison. And that way you know uh, just about you know how uh, what kind of consistency you like yours at. Some people like it uh, medium well, medium rare, what have you. Uh, but just make sure you keep an eye on it, and um, it should come out great. Okay, so now we're gonna get back into this red wine sauce. As you can see, it has reduced almost completely. <laughs> Looks very good. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and add our beef stock. And we're gonna let that reduce. Man, that smells great, babe. It does, thank you. This is gonna be so delicious. I am starving and I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm telling you, this, that sauce and the, uh, the texture, that venison and the flavors, uh, I mean, when they all come together, oh man, we're talking about a really tasty dish, it's really good. Don't forget, guys, make sure you uh, watch on your venison. That's right, it's timed. Okay guys, we just removed our venison from the oven. Uh, it's good and hot. Let's go ahead and take a peek and see what we have here. Oh man, look at that. Oh wow. Man, it looks good. We've also reduced our broth in our red wine sauce and it's it's ready and it looks delicious. Oh man, that smells so good. So now we're ready to plate. tell you what my husband and I enjoyed that meal it was absolutely delicious you need to get that recipe out of the description box below and cook that today yeah babe I agree that was great I really enjoyed that meal hey guys anytime you finish a, a good meal like the one we just had you need something cold to wash it down with and this bottle the coldest water bottle is the best 
hey, if you want to order this bottle today, uh, check out the description box below. Uh, we have free shipping. I'll uh, save you some money, 10%. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you do what, babe? Hit that notification bell at the top. Hey, guys. Until next time. It was great. Thanks again. We'll see you. Bye.